To begin with, it is important to set clear boundaries between work and personal time. This means defining your work hours and sticking to them as much as possible, while also setting aside time for personal activities and responsibilities. This can look like scheduling time for exercise, spending time with family and friends, pursuing hobbies and interests, and taking time to relapse and recharge. Work-life balance is the goal, and it is typically defined as the amount of time you spend doing your job versus the amount of time you spend with loved ones or pursuing personal interests and hobbies. So today we are asking, how can we become more intentional about balancing work and personal life? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818384663. You could also tweet at us or thread us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaysShow. Who am I going to start with? NG. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you think? Um, so I think work-life balance is very, very important. Mm. It's, um, you cannot overemphasize the benefits and the consequences if you don't, you know, find the balance to that. You know, sometimes you have people down, even down to health, mm. you know, it's very, very important for you to create a balance between your work and your personal life. And that would include, depending on the kind of person you are, that would include having other activities, whether sporting, mm. leisure, like you rightfully mentioned, time with family and friends, time to catch up and all that. So it's very, very, I feel like it's very, very important for us to create that balance in your life. Um, sometimes we just get caught up in the hustle and we just work and work and work. And then eventually it starts telling you on your health. Yeah. You're not feeling well all the time. You have to go to the hospital. Now you're dealing with your health and work or you lose time with friends, you lose time with family. And I think for all of us at some point, particular point in time we've all been through that mm -hmm. you know you've been so focused on work that you've lost something along the way I have experienced that and I had to now you know make a conscious effort to always create some level of balance mm -hmm. because I believe in work hard play harder because the more restful you are the more your 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 brain is able to articulate and um, yeah and run efficiently, and that's the word. So I think it's very, very important. Mm. Well said. Jenny? Hmm. So I like what you've said, right? Um, but then my question is, let's, let's just bring it home a little bit. Now, balance means um, even distribution, uh. right? So basically, when you have a skill and they're asking for balance, it means that they have to stay on the same level. level. Now, my question is, what amount of balance, right? Are we, are we doing it... Um, work 50 personal life or play 50 or is it supposed to be 70 30 80 20 because i feel like sometimes people really cannot tell the difference right oh. sometimes people do 90 percent of work and 10 percent of of play. Um, of play some don't even have any space to play mm -hmm. at all you know sometimes when you hear um this um so-called very um rich or famous people right who have amassed so much wealth okay. and then when they're having conversations they tell you oh I, I didn't have time for this i wake up at 4 a.m i go to bed by this time do, do you understand it's like <laughs> so in my head when i hear things like that, i'm like okay so when do you breathe uh. right <laughs> <laughs> when do you take time out to actually live life. I understand the need to want to work for a long time, especially when you have like really massive goals that you want to meet. But at what point do you say, you know what, I want to rest. I want to take time for myself to just be, right? I want to spend time with family. I mean, we've heard people, even in marriages or relationships where people say, oh, my spouse doesn't have time for me because they work a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear someone says, oh, I'm, I'm burnt out, mm -hmm. right? And that's because you're working all the time you have a lot on your plate and then you've not had time to actually distress mm. so what amounts right do we allocate to <laughs> work what amounts do we allocate to to play so i'm throwing this question out to oh, everybody i personally i don't believe in work-life balance and i'll tell you why but let me hear from Noma first okay Noma. all right <laughs> Yeah, Chino, can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Yes. Please go ahead. All right. So, um, 
just continuing from where Jennifer stopped, work-life balance, how you decide to distribute your time, how you decide to distribute your energy across different areas of your life. And um, in as much as um, you want to spread it evenly, there are some that may suffer depending on what stage or what season you are in life. So it's very important. But before we even get there, you want to know what are the aspects, what areas of my life should I pay attention to? And that's part of the things that you, it, when evaluating work-life balance in anybody's life, one of the first things you want to do is to know what are those areas in my life that I want to be able to accord some level of importance to. So for some people, for me personally, I'm, when I'm thinking balance, I'm thinking balance in my spiritual life. I'm thinking balance in my physical life. I'm thinking about mental balance. I'm thinking about emotional. I'm thinking about social balance. These are the important aspects of my life. So what am I doing to be spiritually uplifted, right? If that is important to me, what am I doing physically to make sure that my heart rate is pumping and my organs are functioning properly. Maybe it's about eating well, my choice of meal, when I choose to eat that meal and the exercises that I want to put in place. If I'm talking about my mental um, balance, what knowledge am I adding to myself that keeps me informed, keeps me updated. Now, I'm not going to spend all day trying to be knowledgeable because I'm not Einstein or I'm not creating something um, out of this world, but I just need enough information to be able to interact intelligently and to be able to have conversations or to be able to function in everyday experience, whether it's at work or personal experience. And then emotionally, what am I doing to keep myself motivated every single day if i'm talking about social interaction what what community am i building around myself to help me to continue to function at the level that i continue to bring in um, some level of success or people that are championing so what communities am i what am i intentionally doing to add to some of these areas because at some point or the other one might suffer now, if I have a community and maybe I'm not um, I'm not showing up as I would normally show up, um, maybe mentally or physically, somebody is going to call me and ask me a question like, Noma, how are you doing? What's what's going on? Um, uh, um, you're not um, looking as well. Are you exercise or somebody? I'm so, somebody. I'm going to be somewhat accountable to somebody, and that's because I have intentionally put in systems or structures that are helping me to achieve that when I can't help myself. So these are things that. So when you are talking about work life, but you don't want it to be this uh, a situation where I detach from that. I just uh, do when I am. When I am, when everybody's looking, right? But uh, it's not part and parcel of my experience every single day because mm. until it becomes part and parcel of who you are every single time, that's when you find out that it's easier for you, even when you experience burnout, mm. it's easier for you to, <laughs> it's easier for you to um, be able to work it out one way or the other because you have support you have these things in place that help you to accomplish that mm. so it's um it's something that a lot of us need to intentionally imbibe if you are not thinking about it it's not going to come to you mm. naturally it's not going to just breeze in and become part and parcel of you that you're buzzing it's something that you have to deliberately put in something to remind you or to help you or to motivate you to keep making progress at mm. very true thank you very much Noma. i think that speaks to what i was going to say right yeah. so there's nothing wrong with work-life balance but you see that's the problem like what you said when how do you then say oh i'm allocating this percent of time to work i'm allocating this percent of time to my hobbies and my interests pursuing my passion and you know all of those other things and that's why i believe in work-life integration so i i would say integration yes because it infuses 
everything like yeah. Noma said. So yeah. you're not saying, oh, you're not waiting till you start to feel so mentally drained and all. And I say, I need a vacation. I am going on that two weeks vacation. No. You picture this, right? You have a, a nine to five. Yeah. You're allocated leave days per year. I mean, what happens to saying, okay, maybe I want to spread my, my leave days and then maybe take three days every month or however it is, depending on the organization that you work with. Or what if you start um, practicing maybe like flexible schedules at work and things like that. A lot of people work from home or practice the hybrid or the remote um, work system now. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the day, you are doing something else that you know is outside of work. You're not waiting till it's 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. when you shut your laptop closed to then live a life. I don't know if you understand what yeah, I'm saying. Perfectly. So I, I completely believe in work-life integration as opposed to work-life balance because it's that work-life balance thing. It's, it's very confusing sometimes. And it, it, I realize that most people get to the point where they are so burnt out before they then decide to take a break. And then you realize that you then take that break, what, one week, seven days. And it's never and enough. You and enough. then you're back to that system and then it's back to back, back to back again until you now feel burnt out. And so I strongly believe in integrating your work and your, your life. So that's my own take on well, I agree with something um, <laughs> Noma, Noma said, right? Yeah. Um, where there's some points in your life, there's a stage in your life where you have to give more to something, something. right? I know that there are times when I've set, set some certain goals, mm. and I know that, you know what, for this one month or for the next two months, yeah. I'm going to give 80% to work. Because mm. I'm also doing personal development, I'm doing career development, right? And I'm working, and I'm... All my life, I've always been working on different things, mm -hmm. right? So there are sometimes I know that, oh, I have to, something has to give. Yeah. Something has to yeah. suffer. So either my social life has to suffer, right? But I have to focus on work. The kind of job that I do and my role currently, even 8 p.m., clients are sending me messages, right? They want me to do some things. I work with a product team. I'm always liaising with the engineers mm. and the product manager mm. and stuff like that. There's always integration ongoing. So basically, like almost like a project manager role. Yeah. So in situations like that, if I get a message by 8 p.m., something isn't working, we need to fix it. I'm sorry, I have to call my engineer. How far? If you can do it, do it. But if you can't, just let me know, right? Mm. I need to give feedback. Feedback, yeah. If you can't do it, we'll just push it till tomorrow morning. I mean, the client should be able to understand. But in situations like that, I don't completely just shut down, down. Mm -hmm. and say that I cannot because at the end of the day, I don't want things to go wrong. Mm -hmm. But then there are times when work is quite slow and I don't have a lot on my table. Yeah. Then I know that, okay, yes, time for personal time. Mm -hmm. I can fix in one thing or the other. But I know I, I, I took a decision, I think it was two, three years ago, and I told myself, you know what, it's not going to be all work for me. I'm always going to infuse some form of pleasure into this, right? Because I want to live long. Of course. And I'm not bad. <laughs> I'm not trying to die, right? I want to be able to have fun once in a while with friends and family, take care of myself, just be by myself. And I, I mean, again, it depends on what your goal is, but I mm. think it's also, it's also important to be able to draw that line because I feel like sometimes you find some people who um, attach more importance to mm. pleasure than work oh, sure. especially when you're working with an employer so mm. if you're being employed mm. <laughs> you can't use that system sure. right of course something will suffer it means that your job will suffer yeah. and it, it doesn't make sense when you're being paid to do something and you're not able to deliver mm -hmm. so just imagine if you have your own business what happens your business will suffer you're gonna be broke and you're not gonna be able to take any holiday <laughs> <laughs> okay let's take a short break and when we come back we'll open our phone line see you shortly If you're just tuned in to our ladies' night out and we're discussing the topic balancing work and personal life, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818384663. You could also tweet at us at WaysShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaysShow. Our phone line is now open. Please call us on 0702500749. The number again is 0702500749. Um, so, I mean, so now let's talk about 
what measures or what ways people can actually balance or integrate <laughs> <laughs> integrate integrate, integrate like, I'm into that word, integrate. how we can integrate work and personal life right and, well when you say integration okay so i like to use myself as an example mm. so i believe in work harder work hard play harder. play harder and i believe strongly believe that life is for the living so for me, while I'm at work, I'm at work. I mm. hardly do social media, mm. that, that, like, I don't have the time for that. Yeah. But as soon as work ends, every other thing begins. And for me, I do a lot of things because, first of all, I have high energy. Mm. So I always have to find an outlet. So for me, I do different things. Some, if I want a lighter day, I do salsa, I do ten <laughs> I play tennis, mm. I do a whole lot of other adventurous things. Mm. I love to travel and, and a couple of things. So for me, when you even say personal life, it's there's a whole lot even in there. Even your personal development is within that personal life. So you always have to create time for everything and be mm -hmm. able to measure it appropriately. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, people always wonder, like for me, I knew I know that during the day I'm at work and work doesn't end till evening and sometimes I have some other you know engagements uh, that I have to I have previously uh, committed to so sometimes in order to play tennis I have to now play at night you know so sometimes you have to just arrange your lifestyle in such a way that uh, you're able to accommodate as much as you can within that space least, which would include yeah. your work life mm -hmm. attending to your work life mm -hmm. and attending to your personal life mm. so if you have hangouts you have to you know you can't go i can't say because i want to uh, balance or integrate my life i would just play tennis all through i have my friends so I could you you now time management now comes into play and planning. Very so true. I can say for me if I have you know certain things to do mm. like as we speak after here we have you know the, the, oh. so you just have to and I still have work in the morning so I still have to put that in mind mm. even while I'm out. enjoying yeah. out and enjoying myself. So I still have to plan all that because you can't say because of that you know you're going to lose out on certain relationships like a birthday party or a friend's graduation mm -hmm. or something you'll miss out on all that information and things events like that don't come back yeah. so once you miss it you miss it out so you have to be able to plan all that within your personal life and still be able to plan your personal development and improvement and in other areas you want to travel you still want to do that mm -hmm. you still want to be able to read maybe you've given yourself uh, excuse me, you've given yourself a certain target, you want to read so so amount of books in the year, and or you want to go through the Bible, if it's a spiritual growth that mm -hmm. you're after. Yeah. So you set different targets for yourself. I remember when, uh, about a year and a half, no, two years ago, I was working in a different location, and I was getting frustrated at work, and I was looking for an outlet, and I kept looking for it. And when I meant an outlet, I just w got tired of doing running the same okay. circle, of coming to work, demotivated. You go through the eight hours, and after that, you know, you get home, and it's just like, okay, how did your day go? Ugh, like another day gone. So I needed something to excite me, so that generates the motivation to go to work the next day, and then. You know, I started playing tennis a bit more and I found out that each time I did that, I got home so exhausted that mm -hmm. I was just tired. Just take a shower, sleep, wake up in the morning and you're like, OK, 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 you know, let's do this again. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? And over time, that became a lifestyle for me because now I know myself and I know that even when I'm happy, I do want to do play tennis. Even when I'm upset I want to play tennis and I find out that most of the time when I'm done with that exercise I'm so exhausted that I do not even have the mental you know mm -hmm. wherewithal to actually think about okay what was that problem we had initially do you understand so for me that was an outlet and each time it just lets me let off that steam and I think it's very very important for us to always create an outlet because with the way things are going now mm -hmm. Tell the situation of the country, cool. yeah. you can't cry. Mm. I'm tired of crying. I don't have tears. You can't shout. Okay, even if you shout, it's not going to change the situation of things. So it's best for you to find a way within your personal space to be able to manage your emotions so that you can go on. That's the whole idea. That's Very what we're true. trying to do. Very we're trying true. to find ways of surviving and moving on. Mm. And in order to do that, you can't you know, just box yourself into one work. You can't even focus on work because even that in itself is frustrating. So you have to give it time and plan properly. Uh -huh.
to time management and planning yeah. properly. Thank you, NJ. Jenny? You know, I wanted to pick up tennis at some point. <laughs> I played tennis with Owa once. Owa? Yeah. Uh, you know, Owa is a very funny <laughs> individual. Bless you, Jenny. Individual. That, was, that was a decade ago. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, very that was a long time. funny individual. <laughs> He will pick up things part time, you know. Mm -hmm. And then once that, she just drops it like boom, <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> so, but it's interesting, you know. At least we, we there are a lot of things that she has picked up. She hasn't dropped. So those are the ones that give her passion. So these are the ones that she gets to drop at the play, personal play time, the life balance. Actually, but you yeah. know, for me, right? Um, the way I've been able to strike balance. I mean. Over the years, I always pick up things as well. I'm almost like, oh, just that. There's some things that I see, <laughs> I see through, right? Um, so I love to work out. Yeah. Work out. Working out is very painful, right? But that's the only way that I know how to really stress, right? There are days or weeks where my spirit is just down. Mm. Once I go to the gym and I'm coming back, I'm just... Pumped. I'm pumped. Okay, I'm I, I think up, we right? have a caller. Loman. Hello, Loman from Abia. Good evening. Hello. Okay, I think we lost Loman. Yeah. Um, I picked up salsa, but then that was um that was early 2022 okay. while I was still in Abuja. Okay. But then I dropped, I dropped that as well. Because for that, it was because I didn't find people who, oh, yeah. who, yeah, who shared the same interest. Same interest. And it was That's a new important. city for me, yeah. right? Yeah. So I didn't have a lot of friends to mm. go with. And you know, by the time you get there, you're just alone. But then there were other things that I picked up. I picked up boxing. Oh. There are times that I just... Sometimes... I, so I, I love my friends because sometimes we don't necessarily have to step out of the house. Are you home? Yes. And Let's watch this movie. Same here. And then you're just sitting together mm. and you're just having a good time, mm -hmm. just eating, mm. drinking, and laughing, and just gisting about random things. And sometimes we have like impromptu games nights. Of course. Right? Oh, I just got this new game. Do you want to come play? Oh, there's a board game. Oh, invite this person, invite this person. And for me, that's the only way that I can actually distress, right? Because while I'm there, me. I'm not thinking about anything right i just want to spend time with my people mm. and just have fun okay. and if people can find other ways to have um, these outlets it would be really really helpful mm. okay i think loman is back hi loman good evening yeah good evening good evening my <laughs> good evening loman well done. thank um, you well today's topic uh, Everything boils down to planning. Yeah. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Well, before you know it, if you don't balance based on this topic, you can walk and walk and walk. So you know it, threats will take it. Mm. That's why you see some people die in their workplace mm. because they try to take care of their personal life. Sure. Now, I want to let you know. One man, one town planner, I used to know in Nigeria, from, from this part of our state, from, from other state, he said, lack of planning on your own side cannot be an emergency on my side. I did that one. So what we need to do in order to balance everything, you don't overwork yourself, you make sure you take care of your life, Otherwise, the work will be there and you'll lose your life. Very yeah. well, very true, very true. Thank you very much. Very Thank well you. said. Thank you so much, Loman. Thank you. All right, so uh, quickly, Unoma. So I just, while you were having the conversation, I remembered the uh, news uh, flash that I saw about the trackathon in Lagos, about people having to walk to... <laughs> To different parts of Lagos, either to work or this, because the transport system is challenged at this point. Mm. And I said something like that, you can turn it into an opportunity. I remember when the uh, pandemic happened in 2020. For me, my distressor is taking long walks. Mm. I can walk for two hours, 
and I do not feel it at all. Once I have my headphones, my music or some message or some, um, I'm just listening to something, I would not even know that I'm on the road. I'll just keep walking until the pandemic happened and we were, you know, boxed in our houses without our um, uh, um, permission, so to speak. And it was like, okay, I'm not going to be able to achieve this, but I love to work. What did I do? Somehow in my mind, because it was something that had become part and parcel of me, and like NJ said, a lifestyle, which is very important, I created ways. So my staircase became my walk path. Yeah. I would walk in my living room, walk around it, walk downstairs around the compound, things like that. And I was still able to make up the quota, you know, my my number of steps for for the for the for the um, day, day, so to speak. And then you become creative. You start fight because it is some, and it goes back to what I had said initially about values, about our prior, what have we made our values. If something is important to you, you will find a way. If your health is important to you, a lot of times where we struggle with these things is because we have not given it the commensurate meaning in our lives. So you can trade your life for several hours of work without getting up at some point deciding, you know what, I've had enough. I, I, if I continue like this, I'm going to have a headache. Let me stretch. Let me walk downstairs, get something or come up, do something. Let uh, blood flow in my system because I want to live long. Jennifer said, I want to live long. How intentional are you being by putting systems that help you to live long? It's not just something that you say in your mouth and say that it happens. You have to be able to put something in place. So what are you doing? You have association. You have friends. When you call them, they are able to, because they understand that that is value. It is not a waste of time. Some people will say, oh, they're wasting time. Uh. But you know, because it's important to you, you can say no at work. You can actually say between this time and this time that is when i'm going to be productive after this number of hours i need my space and you know i can function optimally and you can engage you can um dialogue for hours that you can that can help you to be productive at work but some people because of fear oh you know the culture in nigeria too that when you're working for long hours or you don't go before your boss you seem to be working hard or maybe now that we're in remote working setting, you see people, they are trying to, they are showing that they are online, but you are not you yourself. You know that you are not available, right? So, yeah. Mentally, you have shut down. So all of those things are things that you need to put in place. It is very, very important that you do that. Even where I am, I turned my prayer time to a work time. So while I'm praying, I'm also exercising, I'm walking. Before I'm finished, I'm done with my 10,000 steps and the day's not even started. So it's the mindset in which you use and the value that you place in different aspects of your life. That is how it will show up in the quality of time and energy you direct to each of those aspects. Hmm. Mm. Very profound, you know, my, I like mm -hmm. what she said there. Yeah. When something is important to you, you will definitely find it. And that's what I have realized, you know. When we say, at some point in my life, people go, ah, you know, on Fridays, you guys are always hanging out. And truth is that, it's not as if we're particularly going anywhere. I mean, as a matter of fact, most times in the house, thank God for Netflix. Thank God for Netflix. We just plug <laughs> the, the, what they call it, the laptop with HDMI plug into the television, uh, internet, and we watch Netflix and yeah. drink a bottle of wine, whatever it is, eat if you Catch want to up. eat out that day, you know, just have a couple of people over, play card games, and we are, by the time, by Saturday morning, when everybody wakes up, you see everybody's just feeling a lot better, mm. you know, from that whole, that long week. So it's not like you, you don't necessarily have to do any, go out of your way to, you know, say you want to have fun. Look at us talking about paintballing today now that's yeah. another way if i that's a very good way to distress i must say you need to go pain you might sustain some injuries you let me leave that let me leave that disclaimer injuries. you will <laughs> but trust injuries. me your heart would even thank you for it because you're going to do some exercise that you will not feel like it is exercise <laughs> you know thinking about the workplace right one thing that i miss my previous workplace for mm. is the fact that between 12 p.m and 1 30 p.m they put off the light are you allowed to sleep? sleep? Are you serious? Go and eat, sleep, watch movies, do whatever you want to do in that Every movie. day? Every day. Wow. They don't miss it. And 
each person you're giving um, a small bed, mm. right? So you bring it out. People bring it out and put it by their work, work table, station. and then just sit down, or you sleep. And you're not allowed to make noise, right? So if yeah, you want to have conversations, just God go outside said. the office and then do all of that. But it is quiet. The lights are off. In that, see, during that one hour, 30 minutes, your boss can't even call you in for a meeting. Interesting. Your boss wow. will tell you, oh, we're having a meeting. You can tell your boss, ah, it's lunch time. It's great time. Let's I, I think And they will just they will, they will will respect that. that. Your office office. Office. <laughs> office. Do you have any very, comments? It, it, very it, it will be quite good for, for, good. for bosses to look into yeah. things like that. When I like first that. joined, I, I really wasn't practicing it because it was really weird to me. Culture shock. Until I realized that I started... That was a, that was a big culture shock of for course. me. Of course. So during the lunch break, people were sleeping, people were resting... I said I had to have migraine. By 3 p.m., 4 p.m., I was already having migraine. And one of my senior colleagues came to tell me, so I noticed that you don't take this one at 30 minutes. <laughs> Make sure mm -hmm. you seize What's your opportunity and take it. Since then, I stopped having migraine. So when it comes to, you just mentioned culture shock, and I remembered something. So my previous place of work, mm. I, my first day at work was an experience. So I got to the office. You know, your first day of work is supposed to be really light. And then I get to the office... And I finished, I think I finished about 5, 5.30 and I was looking at my boss, oh, can I go home? And he looked at me in a funny way. I ended up going home at, I think at 8.30 that what? day. What? And subsequent for the next five years, that was around my closing nah. time. Nah. But, and then I got to my new office and then by 6 o'clock I was locked inside the office. The office. And I couldn't get out. I had to call my boss to please tell the security that there's still somebody <laughs> inside the office. So when it comes to culture shock, you, there's actually, but like we rightfully know, there just has to be some level of balance, balance. to it. That's, that's the major thing. Very true. Okay, so this comment says, Nigerian, Nigerians don't take holidays seriously. Mm -hmm. And for those that travel, some really don't go on vacation. They only go on a shopping spree. Is it as a result of our economic realities? We don't know this. So maybe we need to ask people that are going on shopping sprees instead of vacationing. You know, we're actually, saying no, it. I actually agree. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people who go on vacation and they don't take out time to rest. Yeah. Right they don't now. even go yeah. sightseeing. They don't rest. Is that any other comments? Um, no, 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 none from my None. Mind. How none about you? Mind. None from here. Okay. I think it's been a great yeah, conversation tonight. Noma, do you have any comments? Yes, I do okay, have one. This is ahead. from Ilo, uh, okay. Daniel. And he says, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Balancing work and personal life, according to my dear beautiful sister, Jenny, she says that she, we need to balance time and energy, which is very correct. We need to give our time for both because two of them cannot come at the same time. Mm. When balancing both of them, we need to add supportive system. There is... The saying that goes that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. According to Loman, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You mm. ladies look beautiful tonight. I really missed you, Chinello, anchoring the Thank show. You. Nice Thank having you. you back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Wayshu Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. Never get so busy making a living that you forget get to make 11 this is by dolly parton see you tomorrow at 8 p.m i'm gonna be on the seat right there tomorrow as we bring another conversation <laughs> to your screen good night, good night. thank you ladies <laughs>